Hello viewers, I am Pooja and welcome you to another interesting episode of Region Diary, the show that brings to you latest happenings from in and around the region. With an objective to economically empower rural women, an all-women market has come up in Assam's Dibrugar. And these group of women vendors are not only contributing to the income of their family, but have also become self-reliant and independent with their entrepreneurial venture. The market has also set a strong example of women empowerment. Take a look. As the world celebrated the International Women's Day with much fanfare and lot of academic activities, we in Northeast Life would like to project and show a small happening in Dibrugar. Here you can see that there is a small market which has come up just opposite to the Deputy Commissioner's office here in Dibrugar. And uh, this market is entirely manned by women. This is the unique feature of this market. These women folk, they have come here and set up this market. And uh, they have been, uh, they have in fact come up with a good example of women leading entrepreneurship. This women market of late has become a talk of the town. Women from different self-help groups run a weekly market in the heart of Dibrugo town and sell their homegrown local producers like vegetables and fruits. তারপর আমার গোটর মানুষে এনেকে জীবিকা সকিয়ে আমার খবর দিলে খবর দিয়ে পিছন আমি ইয়ালে বহি পেলে আছো এটা আগস্টরপা বহিছো ভাল লাগিছে ভাল লাগিছে এবিল রঙালাও জাতিলাও আনিছিল শেষ হয়ে গেল আর কলডিল ফুলকবি এইবিল পাতহাত বেগেনা এইবিল আনিছো ये सर बहुत बढ़िया है कम से कम रोजगार है अपना अपना खुद का बिजनेस कर रहा है अपने पैरों पे खड़े हैं हमें तो अच्छा लग रहा है कि कुछ काम कर रहे हैं है कि नहीं और हम लोगों के लिए सुविधा हो गया है जी तो आप लोग का यहाँ से हर बुधवार और शनिवार को लगता है यहाँ मार्केट सर बुधवार शनिवार को आप लोग खरीदारी करते हैं जी फिर हम करते हैं हम यहीं से खरीदी करते हैं भले ये दो पैसा ज़्यादा भी देंगे तब भी हम इनसे लेते हैं क्योंकि ये अपने पैरों पर खड़े हैं हमको ये बहुत अच्छा लगता है देख के अपना काम कर रहा है खुद का काम कर रहा है market remains open twice a week. Around 22 women are currently involved in the market. I am here to go to the market. I am here to go to the market. I am here this market serves as a great option for the locals who are able to directly purchase fresh homegrown producers at a reasonable price. Hi. 
নিজের ঘর আছে কিছু আমার বজনা দেউ সবই আছে বাড়ির পর উঠায় আমি লোক আনো আমি মানুষের পর ভালে পাইছো আপনাদের যে মহিলা বজারখান দিয়েছে আমি বহুতে ভাল পাইছো কে So as you have seen this small little initiative in Dibrugarh in the right in the heart of Dibrugarh town has generated a lot of enthusiasm among the buyers also it's not only the women sellers who are trying themselves to, to build up as future entrepreneurship so this is indeed a very positive step a very positive step particularly in the right direction and when we call about women empowerment team northeast life salutes the spirit of women in the endeavor and wishes them all success in their future endeavor as well with camera person pranip this is ripujay das reporting from dibrugarh for northeast life And well, the concrete walls of the Arunachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly were brought alive by a group of emerging artists from the state with beautiful mural paintings. Arunachal Chief Minister Pema Khandu inaugurated the face of Arunachal mural paintings on a cultural heritage of Arunachal Pradesh. The walls of the state assembly with traditional essence were painted by local artists depicting unity in diversity of Arunachal Pradesh. Appreciating the artworks of the local artists the chief minister said the creative artworks by the talented artists from the state have brilliantly portrayed different tribes textiles and biodiversity of the state he said the initiative is to turn the state legislative assembly building into a tourist destination the remaining walls of the assembly building will also be painted painted with murals in the coming days depicting the beautiful mosaic of art culture and traditions of the states pehle to main apna is assembly ka apna honorable speaker pasang ji aur deputy speaker tesam ji ko main congratulate karunga ki un dono ka hi ek idea tha ki ye hamare paas jo assets pada hua hai aur jo dome do dome hai usko ek tuna painting ka zariye se logon ko dikhaya jaye to बहुत अच्छा हमारे जो अरुणाचल जी का जो यंग आर्टिस्ट है बहुत अच्छा उन्होंने यहाँ पे पेंटिंग कराया और इसमें देखा है हम लोगों का अरुणाचल बहुत डाइवर्सिटी एक स्टेट एक राज्य है तो इसमें हमारा पूरे ट्राइब्स को दिखाने का कोशिश किया हमारा जो टेक्सटाइल है उसको यहाँ पे दिखाने का यहाँ पे ट्राई किया हुआ है तो उम्मीद करता हूँ आने वाला दिनों में जो लोग ईटानगर विजिट करेंगे एस एन टूरिस्ट प्लेस ये असम्बली जो है एस टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन हो जाए इन सब माध्यम से और मैंने फिर रिक्वेस्ट किया अपना ऑनरेबल स्पीकर को कि और भी हमारे पास बहुत सारा वाल्स यहाँ पे खाली पड़ा हुआ है उसको भी इन कमिंग डेज इसी प्रकार से अरुणाचल का जो आर्ट और ट्रेडिशन है उसको और भी हम लोगों को डिपिक करना जरूरी है तो आई थिंक ऑनरेबल स्पीकर साहब के लीडरशिप में और भी वाल्स जो है उसमें भी हम अच्छा अच्छा आर्टिस्ट लोगों को लगा के कुछ इनोवेटिव कुछ चीज़ करके हम लोग लेके आएंगे and the initiative by the assembly speaker pd sona has provided a platform to the young artist of the state to showcase their artworks and skills so basically we what we try to do is uh, did is uh, we studied on the tribal patterns on our clothing and then uh, the material culture of our uh, of our land and all of that usko study karke hi hum logo ne ek composition create kiya hai and then we gave a theme like doni and polo thing and is small pe we do what pe we we only focus on the tribal patterns because people can like when we see tribal patterns on clothes we just see it as a decorative piece you know but when it comes into a wall it becomes like a landscape so that is the interesting point and then we wanted to explore on the mediums also kuch naya medium try karte hain to like for wood cut wood cut hum logo ne try kiya hum logo ko almost one month laga aur research karne mein hum logo two months laga Well, Dr. Shampa Gurung Megi has been relentlessly working for the welfare of the Gurung community in Sikkim. Dr. Megi has published many enlightening articles related to Buddhist religion in general and religious text Kelpa for the Gurung Buddhist community in particular. He has also penned many books on culture and traditions relating to the Gurung community. Let's take a look.
Meet Dr. Shampa Gurung Meghi, the first Lama and Buddhist research scholar from Yangyang in South Sikkim, who is associated with various social as well as religious activities in Sikkim. Shampa was conferred with the PhD degree by the Banaras Hindu University last year for the thesis on the topic A Philosophical Study of Tripitakas with special reference to social morality. Well, he is not only the first among the Indian Gurungs to receive the degree from the Philosophy Department of Banaras Hindu University, but is also among the first in Sikkim. मैं पहले तो मैं गुरुंग से छोड़ के मैं मानव को ही देखना चाहूँगा तो आप आपका जो क्वेश्चन था कि सोशल रिलीजियस में हम इस इसमें मेरा दृष्टिकोण क्या है तो मैं ये चाहता हूँ कि जैसे हम लोग धर्म को दिखते ही आदमी ये जानता है कि जैसे मैं बुद्धिस्ट हूँ तो मेरा धर्म ही सबसे अब्बल है या तो कोई क्रिश्चियन है तो क्रिश्चियन ही मेरा धर्म सबसे अब्बल है या तो कोई जा, जानता है कि मैं हिंदू हूँ तो मेरा ही पर मैं ये जानता हूँ कि धर्म मतलब जो दो शब्द से बनता है धर्म धारिफ माँ धर्म जो ध धा का दृष्ट धातु से आता है तो इसका मतलब है धारण करना कोई भी अच्छा कर्म करना उसी को धर्म कहा जा सकता है Shampa Gurung Meghi said Tripitakas the holy book on Buddhism is not just for reading but is more about understanding and practicing those ideals in real life Buddhism followers mein jo bhagwan buddh ka jo kaha hua bani hai usko main prachar prasar mein lau aur samaj ko main suvyavasthit kar saku jaise ki abhi hum log dikhte hai ki sansar mein आतंकवाद और नशालु पदार्थ का जो सेवन करके अभी युद्ध पीड़ा नष्ट हो जा रहा है और चाइल्ड एव्यूज जैसे करप्शन भ्रष्टाचार ये सब को दिखता है तो मुझे मानना है कि ये पंचशील जो है इसमें से कहीं एक लॉ ब्रेक होने से ही संसार में ये मतलब जो अप्रिय घटना घटे जाते हैं ये पांच नियम को ही हम उल्लंघन करेंगे तो संसार में मतलब अप्रिय घटना घटे जाते हैं तो इसी वजह से मैं धर्म को ये देखना चाहता हूँ कि हम लोग जो भी करेंगे संसार को अच्छा होने वाला काम करना चाहिए He further added that society can be free from all social evils by bringing in positive changes through the teachings of Tripitakas. गुरुओं को अब भारतवर्ष में पूरा दिखा जाए तो एक प्रेजेंट सीनियरियो में ये दिखता है कि गुरु एक जनजाति है एस के लिए बहुत मांग कर रहा है पर कहीं ना कहीं हम चुके हुए हैं कि हमें एस नहीं मिल पा रहा है पर गुरु का विषय में हम मैं मेरा जो स्टडी हुआ है मैं उसमें दिखता हूँ तो गुरु को एस बिल्कुल मिलना चाहिए क्योंकि गुरु ही एक ऐसा जाति है जो जो जनजाति है कि जो भेड़ बकरी भेड़ को वो पालन करते हैं हनी हंटिंग करते हैं और उनका ड्रेस भी दिखा जाए तो छोटा छोटा वो सफ़ेद विदाउट स्टेचिंग वो पहनते हैं और उनका खान पान कल्चर ये सब को दिखा जाए तो उनको मिलना चाहिए जैसे अभी तक हम लोग जो इग्नोग्राफी है ये सटीक रूप से ना आने के कारण ये सरकार तक हम इसको ना पहुंचाने के कारण शायद नहीं मिल पाया होगा तो इसी के ऊपर काम किया है He has also penned a book titled The Gurungs Their Hidden History His articles on gurungs and Buddhism have been published in various national as well as international journals Meghi embarked on the path of spiritualism and became a Buddhist monk for the purpose of social welfare. With inputs from Sujil Pradhan, this is Ronak Day for Northeast Live. Time now to slip into a short break, but do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side. And on to Nagaland now. The Naga wrestling tourney is the much-anticipated event in the state. 
Organized by the Naga Wrestling Association, the association has been sincerely promoting the indigenous game for the last 50 years. The first organized wrestling meet was initiated by the federal government of Nagaland in 1965 and the event was further reinforced with the formation of Naga Wrestling Board in 1969. The first Naga Wrestling Tournament was held under its aegis in the year 1971. And this year's edition of the two-day mega event of the 27th Nagaland Wrestling Association Championship 2020 was managed by the Chakesang Baptist Church, Kohima. Here's the report. This mega event is one of the much awaited event, especially by the three tribes of uh, the Nagas. And uh, this year is the 27th Naga Wrestling Championship, Championship Meet. It is being organized by the Naga, Nagaland Wrestling Association. Nearly 30,000 spectators gathered at the Kohima local ground to witness the Naga Wrestling Meet 2020 at Kohima local grounds. This year's wrestling meet coincided with the 50 years formation of the Nagaland Wrestling Association which was formed to promote and preserve the indigenous sport of the state. Around 54 wrestlers from the Angami Sports Association, Chake Sang Wrestling Association and Zinyang Wrestling Association vied for the coveted title. <laughs> for the first time, the wrestling event witnessed the first Under-16 Naga Wrestling Championship 2020 and 32 wrestlers from the junior category competed for the coveted title. And to encourage the young wrestlers, the association has also introduced a scholarship program for the quarter finalists. Uh, there are in total 90 uh, players from all the units. Then uh, for the seniors, there are uh, 54 players. Juniors, uh, 36 players. So for the juniors, it is for the first time. But we have a good response from the participants of the uh, juniors. For the juniors, we have introduced uh, uh, another feature is uh, the scholarship for the juniors who have reached the quarterfinal. We will be giving them 1,000 per month for one year for, those, for all the students who have reached the quarterfinal. Uh, our message for this introduction of the scholarship scheme is that sports and studies must go hand in hand. Right now, we have uh, organized this way, but right now, the need of the hour is to have a stadium of our own, for which we are more happy so, because the government now, the chief minister himself has uh, expressed the interest and he will look into the matter, and for which we are very happy for his assurance of supporting uh, us. Lauding the sports body for promoting and preserving the indigenous sport, Nagaland Chief Minister Nephew Rio, who attended the event as the chief guest, announced that the state government has plans to construct a wrestling stadium as well as an indoor wrestling stadium. Uh, there is no specific team for this year's, but a special addition to this year's tournament is uh, we have uh, uh, given a provision of this LED. Two large LED is in display, and then we are also giving a live telecast of our action. Uh, is we are celebrating a 25th year of our existence, and in commemoration of this, we are bringing out one as souvenir to commemorate 50 years of our existence. 24-year-old Wenuzo Dahuo emerged as the new champion of the 27th Nagaland Wrestling Championship, defeating 21-year-old Kezasalu Pinhu of Kohima Village in the final bout. With inputs from Sarah Konyak, this is Pooja Mishra for North East Life.
Well, the annual Shilpagram Mahautsav is uh, underway at the Shilpagram premises in Guwahati. The festival is being held under the aegis of Northeast Zone Cultural Centre. Cultural programmes and the craft exhibition are the major attractions of the three-day cultural extravaganza. The Mahautsav was inaugurated by eminent folk singer Tanand Patak. Take a look. Beautiful rendition of Borgi. Chia Geet performances and folk dances of Northeast, amid striking setting in the cultural complex, has set the tone for the annual Shilpagram Mahotsav in Guwahati. Dance performances from various states of India, followed by musical performance presentation by popular singer Krishnamoni Chutia and choreographic presentation by Dr. Prashansa Gogoi entitled Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat were the highlights of the inaugural day of the Shilpagram Mahotsav. Organized by the Northeast Zone Cultural Center, the event, in addition to the various cultural performances, also features craft exhibition and traditional food festival. This, this whole, I mean, uh, Northeast Zone Cultural Center, or uh, uh, you can say JCC, is a I mean, Ministry of Culture's autonomous body. So we are here. To promote, uh, to promote, innovate, and हम लोग जगत प्रसार प्रसार and renovation के लिए हम लोग ये करते हैं we do it um, in silk program also not uh, silk program is like you know it is a government of India's Ministry of Culture project actually here the whole setup was uh, uh, I mean done uh, for mainly for uh, to bring the artisans from different states, not states here. South me, kala, sangeet, craft, or jo jo bhi hai, jo bhi hai, matlab drama, folk drama, sab ko ek saath jodke ya me program karna hai. The national national uh, NCEP National Cultural Exchange Program. Iske uh, karan hi ye motto was like that. All rock musical performance by Summer Salt, ODC dance performance by Vani Madhav, folk dances by different communities from India, fusion and contemporary musical performance by Tetsio sisters and Sophium are other major attraction of the cultural fiesta. Shilpagram Mahotsav is being organized on the occasion of the Foundation Day of the Cultural Complex. The festival aims at showcasing the rich culture and tradition of the Northeast. It also aims at rendering a platform to the local artist. With camera person Debojit Boro, this is Manishri reporting for Northeast Live. And that's all we have for you in this episode of Region Diary. Uh, we will be back next week with another episode and with lots more interesting stories from the region. Till then, keep watching Northeast Live. Goodbye and take care.